Hey, 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 good morning, you guys. How are you today? It is Tuesday morning, and I've got a little Dollar Tree to share with you. Some springtime Dollar Tree was in there yesterday looking around. I had some fun. I found some scented gel pens. I wanted to try open these and see how, about how they smell. I thought they were cute, even if they didn't smell very well or whatever. I thought they were cute anyway. Let's check them out. Let's get some paper and try them. Oh, I don't need a brand new pack of paper. Just any old stay upbeat. <laughs> Actually, I think that was from Dollar Tree too at one point from a calendar set. Let's see if they really smell. It does a little bit, not too much. Oh, that does smell good. It smells like like grapes. It's got grapes on it. This one has blueberries. Let's check it out. The color's pretty. I don't really smell blueberries. Do blueberries even smell for real? And let's try strawberry. I didn't smell the blueberry. They're cute anyway. I don't care. Oh yeah, I definitely smell strawberry. Those are super cute. So I got a couple packs of those. And the colors are pretty. Um... I think I got three packs of those, but I only see one. I found these little Uno cards, Uno Go cards. They're pocket size. I thought these would be fun. You know, we've get the um, we get playing cards all the time for our journals and stuff. I thought what fun it would be to have these little ones. Oh, I didn't mean to tear the box, but I guess it doesn't matter much. Why can't I open it? Oh, does it have tissue paper on it? Oh, it does. They're wrapped in tissue. A parchment paper. How fun is that? Because um, I can use that for something too. So these little tiny Uno cards. My family enjoys the Uno game. I used to play this with my um, my after school kids too when I taught after school program. Aren't they cute? I thought these would be fun to stick in journals. Cause they're just a different size, just, you know, something different. But that was fun. Or even in mini journals. I think it'd be fun to make a journal with um, all different, like playing cards, like from different games and stuff. Just kind of a game theme. I put that back in there for some reason. Okay. And then I got some bags. These are those fabric bags, the little bunnies. You tie the ears, it comes with a string and everything. I love these. I've been given a couple of them and I absolutely love them. So I grabbed a couple bags of those and I got some pencils, super cute Easter pencils. These aren't even necessarily Easter, but those are fun. And I got some M&Ms. Those are gone. <laughs> I got um, some little wood pieces. I think I got some of these before. And I think I, I shared them. But I thought these would be really fun to, to put in uh, clusters for for spring cards or something. A little flower pot, little plant in a pot. What else have we got? A watering can. Anything else? A wheelbarrow. And I think that's it. Those are all the different shapes, which are super cute. I like these. Thought those would be fun. They'd be fun for a farming theme as well. Or a farm to table kind of thing, even. So we've got those. And I found, okay, so you guys, there's got to be a crafty purpose for this. This is a travel dressing container. And I'm going to open it. I think there's got to be a crafty reason, a crafty purpose. It's open it's got this mushy you know it's got a silicone container and it's got the pop off maybe um oh you know what this would be good for it would be good for um mod podge put mod podge in there smaller to work with that would be a good one and it's got the silicone so it wouldn't stick to that but you could gloop it out instead of having to, yeah, that would be a good purpose for this. I think there's probably others. This could be cute, filled with glitter or um, sequin mix. 
I might have to go back and get some more. I I really want to think about, there's got to be some good crafty reasons for these. But this is in the um, container aisle. It's the salad dressing, travel dressing container. They were all clipped on a clip strip. So I'm going to see about getting a few more. Let me know if you have some ideas for those too. Or if you've used them for something. I got some of these envelopes. I always think these are fun. But also, especially because I'm trying to build up my sentiments, I thought these might be a good way to do that. Um, sentiments are so delicate anyway. Wait a minute. Maybe this isn't what I thought it was. Is it pulled out? Wait, what? Is this one not done right? Or is it supposed to be like that? Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Let's see if the next one's like that. Is this one like that? Coupon holder. Maybe it is. Maybe it's supposed to have a full page and then these are... Yeah, that, they're like that. So that would hold a full page of something or paper or something. And these you can just tuck your little... their little tucks. That's cool. But um, I thought, you know, sentiments that are delicate or could get tangled would be easy to just tuck in there. Something like that. And this has pockets here. But these would definitely come in handy. And I got enough to share. So I'm kind of excited about those. They have these different colors. They might have had a couple different colors, but these are the ones I chose. And what else did we get? There's another. Oh, there's some more pens. I will we'll be sharing those. I needed a hole punch, a regular says hole punch. I feel like I have one here at the house, but I can't find it. So I got a regular size one. And you guys can hear Cash talking to me. I just fed her, I promise. I don't starve my cat. She's always asking for food or let's go to bed. <laughs> I got some tags. I thought these would be a lot of fun to um, decorate. I want to, um, you know, there's 60 of them in here for a buck. That saves me a lot of time. I know I can cut them out and make my own, but that saves me so much time. And they have the string with them, so yay. I got these. Now, Tell me, you guys, what you do with, with these if you if you get them. These are the metallic beads, and I was thinking they'd be really fun to um, use on mixed media projects. And kind of, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use them yet, but I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to play with these and see what I can get. Then I also got some papers. I got these insert cards. I wasn't quite sure what I was getting here. I think they're just cards, um, like papers cut in a uh, card size, like for matting. Got gold and red. That's a really nice textured one. This one's kind of like a canvas. What, Cashy? Oh, are they actually? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. These are actually cards. So these are the envelopes. One, two, three, four, four envelopes. One, two, three, four cards. So two pink, two white, or off-white. And then these, so I guess you, and these are just the pieces that you put under. So you die cut out of these <clears throat> leaving the negative and put this underneath it <clears throat> for the background kind of like you know the picture <clears throat> so it's actually a make your own card set kind of thing that's kind of cool I wasn't sure what I was expecting but for a dollar that's awesome and then I found I have never seen these packs at my Dollar Tree and I found two of them two paper packs and I want to go through them with you because this paper is usually really fun. And I have, I've been given some of these packs before. I'm gonna put these pens in my collection here. I've been given these packs before, but I've never found them at my Dollar Tree. So let me move some of this stuff aside. So we can go through these. Because I love, I love the different papers that they have in these. And I know it's just scraps from whatever, you know, whatever they made. I'm okay with that. Because to 
buy the full sheet of this paper would be um, kind of costly to buy all these different kind of papers. So it's fun to have scraps and it's always fun to go through somebody else's scraps. So look at, let's see what we get. Got this really cool gold um, glitter paper. It's got some green in there, some all different colors, gold, yellows, really pretty reds, really pretty uh, glitter. And this one, and this is, there's a couple pieces of this one. This has glitter in it too. It's a really cool texture. This one is the same. Ooh, this is neat. This is like a, like a watercolor kind of thing. There's several of these. Look at how they're all different. That's really neat. So it's like dyed. And it's got kind of a canvas uh, feel to it or texture to it. And so that's kind of neat. And got that one. Kind of a navy blue. This is pretty. This would make a really great, just like it is, a great belly band or something. It's already got the embossing on it. Got white. And some of these papers, um, some of these papers don't um, die cut very well, but some of them do just fine. And it's partially because they're um, they're softer. They're like um, like a fabricy paper. Got some craft paper there, but I love their embossed ones. This is really neat. That'll be fun for something. What I do with these, I throw them in my scrap box. And then when I find, you know, when I'm looking for something fun, that was just a piece of paper. That's nothing. This is really cool. It's got some really fun colors in there. Some browns and greens. And it's got a glitter to it. Sheen. Oh, there's an embossing on this side. That's kind of, oh, there's hearts on there. I'm not sure which side I like better. The embossed side is really cool, but the colored side, you can see on the opposite side, you can see the colors better. That's fun. It's got little circles and hearts. What, baby girl? This one's purple. It's kind of got some different hue to it. It's very textured, very cool. Ooh, that's fun. Look, I've never seen that one in there before. Different shreds of paper cut up. That's a party right there. That's a birthday card, isn't it? I love that. That's fun. Mm -hmm. All right, and we've got this blue one. <clears throat> it's got a glitter to it as well. I think these all have a glitter. I feel like the glitter came off that one paper and went on all the rest. This one's very textured, wrinkly purple. Very pretty. I just want to hit that with some, um, some gilding wax. It would be gorgeous. Hey! Hush, hush, there's nothing wrong. Your belly is full, that's all. Your box is clean, everything. This one's really pretty too. Nice reds, glitter. Another like handmade paper with you can see the um, fibers in there. That's really nice. See, this is one that wouldn't, that probably wouldn't die cut very well. Very cool. Several of those. Oh my gosh, there's like a whole pack of those. That's cool. Awesome. These, like when I get these, I always think this would make a perfect journal right here. Just this and just decorate the pages because they're all the same. There's quite a bit of it. They've cut about the same size. This would make a perfect journal. We're even going to set that aside and think, ooh, and this might be the cover. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. I've got a whole journal right here done. We're going to set this aside. We're going to make a journal out of that. Yep, yep, yep. See? And that is why I pick up those packs. I love this. Oh, they gave me quite a few. Yay! This is probably my favorite paper in the whole thing besides the purple texture one. And then we've got some nice brown with some gold. So those are gorgeous. So yeah, awesome. We've got actually got a whole journal out of it. Um, and then And then plenty more. Let's look at the next pack. A lot of times when they're uh, when they arrive at the same time, they're going to be similar, but they'll have different things in them. So I like to pick up multiple if I if I do find them. All right. So this one is a duplicate of the other one. These are as well. We've got some smaller. 
I see a flower petal or something in there. Ooh, look at that. It's actually a little leaf. Oh, I could dig it out if I wanted to. It's loose. <laughs> These are really cool. This would make a cute little mini journal. I was gonna say, and there's the cover. Actually, that could make a really cool cover. Just do it like this. You guys. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. There's another journal right there. Because these papers, these are really neat. These have leaves and that's awesome. And they won't die cut well, and why would I want to? So we're gonna set that aside. There's another journal, okay? More of this purple is beautiful. This is really cool. This is um, like a construction paper, but it's handmade or it feels like handmade paper. It's got different fibers in there, different colors. Really nice, really, really nice. It feels wooly and there's more of it. And then we've got this orange textured crinkled paper. That's really awesome too. See, and that would make a really cool journal cover as well. And then is the rest of it this stuff? The rest of it is this stuff. So this one was very different, but um, this is really soft. This would make a fun, you know what this would be fun for? Um, a winter Christmas journal. Because of the texture, it would be fun to um, make pages out of that or a travel's note, traveler's notebook for Christmas. That would be cute. So there's a thought. There's a thought. We've got another journal out of it. Is that one purpley? This one's kind of purpley, isn't it? Which is kind of fun. They're inconsistent. So it's the same kind of paper, but the color is a little different. That's kind of neat. I could um, mix and match and make them all. Or do something with that too. All right, I'm going to set that aside. So we've got one, two, three journals out of, you know, two packs of paper that were a dollar each. And I've got all this to play with. I am a happy girl. So that's what I got at my Dollar Tree. I hope you guys will go into your Dollar Tree and go check it out, your Dollar Twenty-Five Tree. Check it out and find some fun things. Um, and let me know in the comments what your favorite thing is. I hope you like and subscribe to the channel. Love it when the channel grows. And love to see each of you here. Love your comments. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.